How's it going? <clears throat> uh, today's project is going to be something a little bit different. Uh, typically we do um, video game reviews and <clears throat> we do a little programming and um, stuff like that. But what we're going to do today is a little bit of hardware. This is a DB25 connector. And on the other end of this cable is another DB25 connector. Now, what most of you probably know is that this particular type of cable is used for serial transfers, <clears throat> connections to modems, things like that. Um, what some of you may not know is that sometimes you have to make special cables with weird uh, pinouts. <clears throat> I'm not good enough really to do all that, but what I can do is I can take this cable I can cut it in half, which I have done already, and I can hook up different uh, wires from one pin on the on the right side to another pin on the left side. Um, this is the middle of my cable right here, and as you can see, it um, it's been taped up. <clears throat> what I did a couple of years ago, in order to use the uh, program called Telco on the TI. Um, is I cut this cable up and I made the pin connections that were required uh, to run this software at an optimum um, level. And I did not have soldering equipment at the time. So <clears throat> uh, what I did was I just took it apart and I cut it and I spliced stuff together without soldering, without anything like that. And I just taped it up to see if it would work and it worked, it worked great. Uh, unfortunately, uh, over time, um, with the jostling and the moving and stuff like that. A couple of them have come a little bit loose. They're still connected to each other, but it's not secure, and I do not have a reliable connection. So I'm actually going to take this soldering iron, which was super cheap, and I am going to use it, along with some rosin core solder, to permanently fuse the necessary um, uh, lines together to make this cable permanent. So that's what today's video is going to be. I'm not a, a hardware guy. I'm actually very terrible with a soldering iron and uh, <clears throat> that will become apparent to you as you watch. But I'm going to explain a little bit as we go through and uh, when we're done, um, we will put it all, plug it all back in and I won't have to worry about this flimsy connection anymore. So uh, hang tight and uh, see if you can learn something and I'll try to learn something too. All right, as I'm peeling this thing back, <clears throat> I'm starting to see that I used a freaking shit ton of tape. It must have been a whole roll. But, um, kind of hard to see here. I'm trying to get zoomed in just right. But you can see I'm only really using like five or six wires, and the rest of them are just cut off unused. Um, so that kind of makes this a whole lot easier to do the, the soldering. But I'm still cutting through layers of this tape, so... I'll be back here in just a second, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at it once it's all stripped out. Also, it looks like uh, all the unused stuff, what I did was sort of, if it was like the, this kind of stuff here, I just sort of taped it underneath, and it's a really crappy job, as you can see. Um, we're going to try to clean it all up here, so hang tight with us. Now we're down to it here. Um, this is where all the individual wires are connected. And as you can see, I have individual tape wraps around each one. Um, <clears throat> but we've got all the most of the outer sheath off that I put on there to protect these individual connections. And now we're going to be going one by one and soldering each one of these connections properly. And then we'll be using electrical tape instead of scotch tape to cover them up with. And, Hopefully get a nice clean cable that works. So be back in just a second.
Okay, <clears throat> so what may be the absolute uh, ugliest solder job in the world is complete. All wires are soldered together. Now I only have to wrap them up and then we'll do some ohm testing on them. Make sure the connections are good. They all look pretty good to me, even though they're ugly. Um, having problems out of this soldering iron, it's just really, really cheap. And I think the tip is bad. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't really look, doesn't really look that great. I need to get a, a good soldering iron. This one here, it's very difficult to do much with it, but I think I was able to do enough to achieve this particular goal. Um, but yeah, so let me, uh, we get some tape on this stuff and we'll wrap it all up and we'll have a look-see. <clears throat> okay, I don't have it all taped up. I wanted to check it first, but um, here's the ohm meter. So we're going to go three, pin three. Okay, pin three is going to go to pin two on the other side. So let's double check this real quick. Yep, and then we'll switch them to two and three. So it was three and two, now we'll do two and three just to make sure. Two and three. There it is. And then uh, seven to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to seven, okay. And then we'll go six to 20. Six goes to 20. Yep, and then 20 on this side will go to 6 down there. There it is. So all the lines are functioning properly. And uh, we have a solid connection with all of our, <clears throat> with all of our data lines. So uh, we're going to wrap it up with some tape, and we'll take a quick picture of the finished product, and we'll call this one done. Okay. And we're done. We have a TV25 custom modem cable for the uh, TI and uh, Telco, which uh, has a specialty pin out. It's not a null modem. It's not a straight through. It's um, 2 to 3, 3 to 2, 6 to 20, 20 to 6, and 7 to 7. And uh, we ohmed it out on our meter here, and uh, looks like every single connection is good. So uh, that's it. That's the end of the project. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, it's not pretty, but it works. So thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> Have a great day.